Hi guys, Angel Fishkeeper here, and today I'm going to do a video on my new marine tank that I've just set up, which is an Aquamanta 90. So we've got the Aquamanta 80, which is the 120 litre tank. Sorry, this is the Aquamanta 60, which is a 90 litre tank. And as you can see, we are running the new Biohome BioRock. So this is a synthetic rock it's not available to the public just yet this is a trial that i'm doing for richard at pong guru um basically to see how this rock does i know a few people already have it for tropical i am the first person i've seen at the moment to have this in a marine tank so i went for the purple one which has the same trace elements in as by a home marine and it is also made from the same materials as Biohome Marine, which is recycled glass, um, bits of sand, basically. And it's made up of tiny, tiny little spheres that are glued at their centre point of contact, basically, because the sphere is the most has the most surface area of any shape, um, which makes this rock have the most surface area. It is porous all the way through. So it can support anaerobic and aerobic bacteria, which I am a bit concerned about because obviously aerobic bacteria will take care of ammonia and nitrite, that's fine. But anaerobic bacteria will convert nitrate into nitrogen and very low nitrates in a marine tank can be a bit... Yeah, it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing. Um, most corals prefer a slightly dirtier tank though, so I'm interested to see how this works. Looks amazing so far. And this has the potential to be one of the best synthetic live rocks you can get. It gives you that mature look from the start because it's already purple. And yeah, that's it for the rock. Uh, I'll go through the whole tank and the setup. So it's an Aquamana 60, which is 90 litres. In the cabinet, we have a JCOD DS4 4 channel dosing pump, which isn't fully programmed yet because I'm not actually dosing. I've got the dose lines full. We have calcium, magnesium, uh, calcium alkalinity and magnesium in the TMC easy dose containers. I also have AB plus and no pox to dose. I have a spare channel as well if I want to dose anything else. Uh, we've got my controller for the TMC uh, the Reef Tide 4000S, which is producing a lot of flow. It's actually creating a bit of a crater here, so I'll have to fix that. We have down here, we have my ATO, which comes up here. This is the sensor, and then the water comes out. So if the sensor is out of water, in, puts fresh water back into the tank, keeps the salinity stable. Uh, Fluval C PS1 protein skimmer, not plugged in because it's a brand new system. Everything's dry, dry rock, dry sand, nothing for it to skim. The three channel dose lines, calcium and alkaline and magnesium, two spare ones. Not a lot of media in here at the moment. Filter wall, matrix, and some sponge. It's kind of getting a screen top rather than glass. So evaporation is going to be a little bit higher, but it's fine because it's better penetration for the light. And the light is the Red Sea LED 50. Really, really nice light. I was going to go for two of those, but I decided to go for the Red Sea light. Um, previously, I've only used Kessel lights. This light is fan driven, so it has a little fan in here to keep the unit cool. 
but um, we'll see how that does with coral. I'm not running it at full intensity. It's on about 50% blue, 40% white, and then the moonlight I'm running at literally like 10%. It's on a six till six cycle, so 12 hours, um, which will be great for the corals. And it's a gradual cycle as well, being at its strongest during like midday. And then it'll gradually ramp down. The wave maker is a constant random flow pattern. Um, the dorsum pump is set to once a day, every day. Um, nine mil al calcium, four mil alkalinity and one mil magnesium. Sorry, four mil calcium, nine mil alkalinity and one mil of magnesium every day in the system. Uh, not yet, obviously, but once there's coral in there, that's what I'm gonna be doing. First fish is probably gonna be a pair of clowns. We'll see what I'll kind of do with this, but I mainly wanna get coral in here because I wanna see how well it grows on this rock. Previously, I've used um, Carib Seas Life Rock and TMC Reef Rock, which I was going to use in this system. But since uh, Richard was looking for someone to beta test this, basically, I thought I'll give him a shout out, say I'm going to use it in a marine tank. Looks amazing. Can't wait to get corals in here onto this rock. Um, it's also like a he does it for tropical as well, and it looks a bit like lava rock. This is lava rock, not bio rock, but it technically looks like the same sort of stuff. Um, but I got the marine version. So we'll see how corals and stuff adhere to this. Um, hopefully it can repel algae quite well with all of its elements. But we'll see. It's early days. It's about a week so far. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see where to get by a rock, I'll leave the link to Pond Guru's channel. Um, but it's basically just on his website, which is filterpro.co.uk. Depending on what country you're in, and then you can click the flag to your country, and it'll show you your nearest dealer. So thanks for watching. Bye.